Hello. It is I, April, back again to do another Knit Talk episode, or whatever you want to call it. I've got some finished objects, some whips, and that's really all I really want to update everybody about. Um, I want to have this as a record, of course. So here we go. First finished object, I'm wearing it, baby. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let me give you the full effect. Yes. Yes. This is, oh, it can't see. <clears throat> it's got uh, lower, longer in the back, higher in the front. It's the same in the front as it is in the back. It is held together with I-cords and I added some shoelace jewelry, metal, um, that you can, that I bought off Amazon. I talked about in the previous episodes. Um, I do have elastic in the waist. I feel like the elastic could, I could have made it a little bit tighter, but right here where it sits is fine. It's okay. <laughs> the yarn that I use is Cascade Yarns. I talked about it in the previous Cascade Yarns. Cotton. So it did block out. It blocked out perfectly. The drape is great. I was not afraid that it would be stiff. It's not stiff. <laughs> it's got some movement. So it moves when you walk. What color is it? It's all in my rabbit. It's a ravelry. Da, 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 da. It is dark caramel. Dark, dark caramel, caramel, however you say it. I used 4.2 skeins. So not that much of the, no, no, no. I'm lying, this is lying. I used all of the skeins that I bought, I think was six, six? I don't think I have anything left over. Maybe I do, I could be lying. I probably am. But regardless, I used majority of the yarn that I did purchase for this dress, even, in fact, I would not have had enough yarn to make this into a maxi with the amount of yarn that I did buy. Clearly my calculations were way off. So it took nine, about 924 yards. And this is considered a DK weight yarn. And I did this on a size US four or how you say a 3.5 millimeter. I know I need to stop. I just love it. I am very, excuse my reference, so I got <laughs> I am very, very happy with this dress. Like I said, I wanted to bake this dress and have it last forever. So that's the goal. I have um, just blocked it, haven't washed it in the washing machine. Um, but um, due to this being handmade, I'm just going to go ahead and hand wash this garment. So that is the summer knit dress. It is done. I kind of want to make another one. That is a maxi. I do have yarn for it. I don't know. I think I might, but I don't know. Who knows? The next info that I have is the Miserani. Not to be confused with misery. Ah! She's really cute. You want to see her on? I kind of do. <laughs> Before I put it on, though, look at these floats. This is the back. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm pleased with the color work. I'm pleased. So this is the front. I'm just kidding. This is the front. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh. oh, wow. This is the 
Miserani, like I said, from Caitlin Hunter. Did I check gauge with either of those garments that I showed you? Yes, but not this one. <laughs> I didn't. I don't really check gauge for my tops, really, unless no let me put line. I don't really check gauge unless it's a a dress like that because I want the fabric not to be very see through with dresses and pants. So I make sure to check gauge for those things. But for this, I did not, and it turned out perfectly. I did the size extra. Extra small. Am I lying to you? I think I did the size extra small. For the dress, I did, I started off with extra small and then I increased to small. Um, but for this, I decided to just stick with the size two. So it was a size two, excuse me. I'm glad I did a size two. Do you see how like, I don't have very much ease in this and I did make it cropped because I did not have enough yarn <laughs> that is also why it's two-toned like this but it ended up looking very cute I, I do like that um, I do have a lot of the green left because I only used one ball of the green and I used three balls of the main body color I really 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 like the texture you have options to choose either a yarn over pattern pattern or this textured I chose the te texture chart over the yarn overs which would have given me a lot of airiness which I wasn't going for with this top it's very cute. I've been wearing the mess out of it to the point where it has started to felt a little bit under the armpits. This is a silk and a merino blend, but it is not superwash. This is my first ever non-superwash garment, and I'm um, I'm pretty pleased. Oh, it's not my first non-superwash. Let me stop lying about that, but it is really, it's really nice and it's soft. So that is the Miserani by Caitlin Hunter. And that's all my fully done whips. I have finished a sleep. Look at this yarn. Isn't it so pretty? This yarn is from the Wandering Flock and this is Cosmic Tie-Dye Mohair Base. right gorgeous the body is done i need to connect it why are my stitches off oh my word are you serious i'm gonna ignore that for a second because <clears throat> it can be fixed <laughs> i don't have time for this anyway right right Okay, so this is going to be just a happy, a happy wear. It just makes me <laughs> so happy just looking at it. It's so happy. The colors, the pastel, the Easter, the spring, the yes, ma'am. Yes. She did that when she decided to come up with this colorway. Um, bless her. So she did that. It was wonderful. So that is the peasant top on its way. I have to make the other sleeve. And it took me way too long to make that sleeve. I have the other skein that I'm going to use for the sleeve. Wah, 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 wah. It is blown up there. Look at that. This is just mohair, squishy, soft goodness. For those who do not like or um, appreciate mohair, I am sorry. But for those who do, <laughs> I know that. It is so good. It's so good. Okay, so my next whip that I have been actively working on, and I want to finish this, is that Camille top. Talked about in previous episodes. Look at this yarn. 
Mm-mm. Do you see this? Mm-mm. I keep this in the Jeep. So whenever I'm dropping my son off at school, and then I just always have something in the Jeep to work on whenever I'm in the vehicle. I tell you what, you spend so much time in a vehicle. If you live somewhere where you don't take the subway, you are in a vehicle a long time. Yes, there is this thing about stillness and idleness, but idle hands is the devil's playground. <laughs> my philosophy so i need to keep my hands busy my mind at peace knitting helps that so why not have knitting in your vehicle that's what i say anyway look at this i'm in the middle of a row <laughs> and i can't knit across that in the time but this is where i'm at so far the sleeves are going to be balloon sleeves. And of course, a very open back. I need to try this on so I can see how far I've got left to go. Or I guess I could use this shirt that I'm wearing as a measurement. So that's a tip. If you don't want to try your stuff on, find a top that you really love the fit of and go off of that. This is a green color. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. There you go. Yeah, that is basically the color. And if I were to make another summer knit dress, it would be in this color because that's the yarn color that I have. Ah! Oh, this is so cute. I can't wait to finish that. The next lingering whip that I am going to complete that's been in my whip list for too long and it is very too, it's too hot. It's too hot to even think about putting this on when I finish it, but it is almost there. We're getting there. Isn't it? I know, I know, I know. This is the Sheer V sweater by Jessie Mae, one of our favorite designers. Can you see, I'm one of those people when I knit in a group of things, the group is usually around the same colors. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So with this one, I am trying to decide if I want to go with the patterns sleeve design or if I want to have it a fitted sleeve. I'm not sure. But I'm already working on the back. And look at my cute stitch marker, stitch marker alert. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> Eggs and bacon on a plate, <laughs> cutest. Um, this is so much fun though. It is not as hard as one may think because you're holding two, you're holding these two strands together. And this is also a non super wash yarn mixed with a silk based mohair um, from Mod, Mod, we're gonna, it's Mo Fibers mofibers.com mo fibers she dyes with naturally with natural dyes ooh ooh it's so cute i did a tubular bind off anyway i was talking about these two yarns okay so when you get to this bit you just drop the the wool and just work with the mohair and then you pick up on the side you have three strands of yarn attached to this project but it's very um easy to keep the the yarn from not being tangled you just have to pay attention 
but it doesn't last that long either because once that part's done then it's just straight using these two yarns held together the rest of the project and it's a size us 7 and a us 5 for the ribbing it goes by so fast so fast so i could probably finish the back today if i just sit down and focus on it my last whip and probably one of my favorites along with this one <laughs> along with all of them <laughs> is this one this is the rizzo top in my last episode i said i had started working on this pat this project because i had ran out of yarn with that dress when i was waiting for my duty to be fixed so we are now we are now here we're at the body i'm just working straight stocking it for the body and it's going to be a fitted top <laughs> this is so cute the sleeves i am trying to decide if i want to do what the pattern says and just go straight to ribbing after i pick up the sleeves for this pick up for the sleeves or if i want to knit a bit of stockinette before i do the ribbing to give me a little bit more length in the arms not sure yet right now i'm just working on the body the yarn guys the yarn the yarn is so pretty it's just this lovely pink with specks of blue dark dark navy blue stitch marker alert by our favorite, Whitney Marie, gang gang. She's the best stitch marker maker. I, She's um, one of my favorites as far as stitch markers. Um, but this Rizzo top by Poison Girls, I'm just obsessed with it. It is one of those, I wouldn't call this a beginner friendly. It's one of those you really do have to read the instructions line by line, word by word, because there's a lot of do this at the same time, also do this while at the same time, <laughs> and then do this for this amount of times, and then after that, do that this amount of times, while also doing that as well. So it can kind of, lead, kind of be a little bit mind boggling. And then also when it comes to, when it's time to pick up for the left and the right, if you're dyslexic, <laughs> I, I'm not dyslexic, but I had started on the wrong side. So I had to rip it out and put it and start picking up from the correct side. So when they said left, she really means when you're wearing the garment, the left side, not when you're looking at the garment, the left side, you know? So it's one of those you really have to just pay attention. It is also not a cheap pattern. It was $11 and some change, which is not what I normally spend. I normally spend between $5 to $8. So it is her, her patterns are there. I think it's more than one person that designs, but they are not that cheap. But they are very, very thought out, written out, for you to understand and it's not just one or two pages it is about uh, it's more than 10 pages long and it gives you a variety of ranges of sizes so it's size inclusive as well so it is worth the money and they're they're designers you got you gotta pay people for what they're worth okay don't be out here trying to scam and scheme and, and always get the lowest out of people because people work hard sometimes. Uh, people work hard to get what to get products out and to write things out, to make videos, all that stuff. It takes time. So 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 think of that before you complain about something. There's always something. There's always a silver lining to things okay anyway that's it guys that's all my whips that I want to show today and those are the ones that I'm working on those are the ones that I'm going to finish and I make these 
not only so I can show them, but I can also make myself accountable for the projects that I have started and I want to finish because starting stuff and not finishing it does not need to be a part of my life, okay? <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, keep on knitting, keep on crafting, keep on staying positive in this crap world. Okay, bye.